Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my easy cooking channel. I just walked in the door, just got back from the grocery store, and I have a nice, warm, freshly baked loaf of sourdough bread. So, uh, smells awesome. I'm going to make a roast to go with this, so let me hang my hat up and we'll get started. I found this nice 2.6 pound bottom round roast on sale for $2.99 a pound. Pretty good deal. Hard to find beef for under $5 a pound these days. So I'm going to cook that and put it in the crock pot with some potatoes, carrots, celery, and I found this big old bag of mushrooms on clearance for $2.99. So I'm going to pile the mushrooms in there as well. For my broth, I'm going to use these beef bouillon cubes. Um, and I've put uh, a quart of water in there and you put one cube per two cups of water. So I'll put two of these cubes in there. Just kind of crumble them in. Now you can use those boxes of, of beef stock, but those cost $3.79 per box. And two of these bouillon cubes only cost me about 25 cents. I have five russet potatoes here that I washed and cut up. I left the peelings on because I like the peelings. Um, three stalks of celery that I washed and cut up. And I found these cool crinkle cut um, carrots. They're all cut up for you. So just dump those in. Now we just got to get the meat and the mushrooms ready to go in there. I am also going to season this with a little bit of garlic powder. Might as well just put the rest, it's almost gone anyway. And a little onion powder. There we go. A bottom round roast and a rump roast are actually the same cut of meat. And it comes from the back leg of the cow. So these can be pretty tough. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this into pieces like this. And uh, hopefully it'll cook a little faster that way. And just what I wanna do is just cook it until it's fork tender, hopefully. This beef is all cut up. And if you don't like mushrooms, You'd be good to go right here. You could just cook it this way, but I have all those mushrooms, so I'm gonna clean those up and put those in there. I topped that off with as many mushrooms as I could cram in there. I like mushrooms. They're a lot of flavor with hardly any calories because they're mostly water. So we'll put the lid on that, and that'll probably need salt and pepper, but I usually add that at the end when I taste it. So, turned it to high. We'll be back in a few hours. Okay, this has been cooking on high for about five hours. Let's see if it's done. Is our meat tender? Yeah, it looks like it's probably pretty tender. See that? It's coming apart with fork. Okay, let's grab a plate and see how it turned out. Okay, we're looking good here. Made myself a plate. Cut a couple pieces of that nice fresh sourdough bread. See the meat? Nice and tender. Comes apart. I've already tasted it. So, uh, <laughs> and this is hot. So, I'll just leave you with that picture. I already tried it and it turned out good. I'm going to eat. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.